Good morning or good afternoon, whichever time this finds you in. This video is going to be going over the basic operation of the Yealink T46S, which I have in my hand. Now, as you can see, we are going to go over this basic operation sheet that we hand out during all of our installs, and we hand it to all of the users. So if you did not get one of these, if you can look right beside this video, there's going to be a download link, and you can grab that sheet, and we're going to go pretty much this video is going to go straight down the list. So let's get started. If you have your help sheet in front of you, we're gonna start at the very top. The very first line says, important, do this immediately. This is referring to your personal voicemail. Comtech does not record this for you and you need to do so yourself. So this is gonna explain how to do that. To get started, you're gonna press the message button right here on the phone and you're gonna dial 1212 when it asks you for your password. There's two things that you want to remember when you're recording this voicemail. You need to record option one and option three. Option one is your actual message that you want played when somebody hears your voicemail. Option three is your name. Option three is commonly missed, but it is important. It is important because when someone is using the dial by name directory and they type in your name, you want it to read your name instead of a computer reading your name. Let's move to line two, making a call. You can do this one of two ways. You can either pick up the handset or you can press the speaker button located here. When you pick up the handset or you press the speaker button, you're gonna to wanna to dial a 10 digit number. You do not have to dial one, nor do you have to dial nine it will automatically grab the first available line for you. To end the call, simply hang up the handset or once again, press the speaker button. The next line on the sheet is the redial button. The redial button is located here and when you press the redial button, as you can see on the phone, it's gonna pull up a list of numbers that you have dialed recently. Now, the next line on the help sheet is called instant redial. That is if you wanna click the redial button and if you hit it again without pressing any, either one of the arrows, it immediately dials the last number that you were speaking to. I'm gonna cover the next two lines together because many people confuse these two. Number one is gonna be hold. Hold is personal. So when you put a call on hold, this is simply for you to talk to a fellow employee to ask a question, look something up, maybe go to the restroom, but the you are coming back to the call. Park is a public hold. So park would be when you wanna put the call on park, you want to page the whole warehouse and tell someone they have somebody on Park One that wants to speak to them. To put somebody on hold, there is a hold button right here. And to pull them back off of hold, you just press the button again. To put someone on park, you'll see you have park one, park two, and park three. You can choose any of those that you want. When you actually choose the park, it's going to light up red and then you can call whoever you need and tell them they have someone on park one or park two. When that person comes to pick up that call, all they have to do is press the button park one or park two, and it'll give them that call. Intercom is a feature that most of our clients do not use, but if you are interested in it, all you do is you dial star nine zero and then whatever the extension is that you wanna call. This allows you to speak directly with the person you're wanting to call without it ringing their phone. It goes directly to their speaker phone and you can say hello. The next two lines I'm going to cover again together. Transfer is if you have a call that is active, you're gonna press the transfer button, which is located here. And you can do this one of two ways. There is something called a blind transfer and an attended transfer. The one that we most commonly see now with most companies is the blind transfer. Blind transfer is exactly like it shows on your list or on your help sheet. It's hit the transfer button, 
the extension, and then hit the transfer button again. This does not give you the opportunity to announce the call. So when you do this, whoever you're sending the call to, when they pick up the phone, they answer that live call. Now, if you wanna do something called an attended transfer, this gives you the opportunity to announce the call. Let me give you an example. If I call in for Jim and you're the receptionist and you wanna make sure that either Jim is back there or Jim wants to speak with me, you would hit transfer, you would dial it Jim's extension, and then you would wait. You wait about two seconds, it's gonna call Jim, and you as the receptionist are gonna be able to tell Jim, Ethan's on the phone, he would like to speak with you. If Jim says, yes, send him through, you're gonna finish the transfer by clicking transfer. If Jim says, no, I don't want to speak with him, you can then pick the call back up with one of these buttons up here, and then you can move the call where you need to after that. The next line, which is transferred directly to voicemail, is going to be used very commonly in the situation like I just described. Jim says he doesn't want to speak with me, so you want to transfer me directly into his voicemail. What you're going to do is you're going to click transfer, you're going to hit the extension, Jim's extension, and then you're gonna add a star at the end. When you add a star at the end and then hit transfer, that's what tells the system go directly to Jim's voicemail. Do not ring Jim's phone. Conference, this is when you want to do what is commonly called a three-way call, a three or four-way call. The way to do it is if you have an active call, you're gonna click the conf button, which is actually not located on any of these buttons. These are gonna become soft buttons when you have a call and one of them is gonna have an option for C-O-N-F. When you press that, it puts the call, the active call, on hold. You dial the number that you would like to conference in. When it starts ringing, you're gonna have an option for conf again, or C-O-N-F. You're gonna press that again, and now you will see on the screen the two calls merge together. It also gives you the opportunity to split those calls away if you need to at a later time. Checking voicemail remotely. This varies just a little bit depending on what your company has set up, but most of the time when you call in and you get the auto attendant, you're either gonna press pound or star most of the time it is pound as seen on your help sheet. And when you do that, it's gonna ask you for your mailbox number. You're gonna type in, most of the time, it's gonna be your extension number. And then it's gonna ask you for that password. Again, that goes back up to the top of the sheet. Most of the time it's gonna be 1212. And hopefully you have recorded your voicemail, the DND button. I would say this is probably the reason why we get the majority of our calls on the support desk. The DND button you will not be able to see on this phone. Most of the time it is one of these soft buttons up at the top. DND stands for do not disturb. So that means that if you press that button, you're gonna see a little red circle come up up here. This means that when someone calls you, your phone is not gonna ring. If it's on do not disturb, it's gonna send the caller straight into voicemail. Now this does not prevent you from calling out. You're still able to call them or call your coworkers or call your customers, but when your customers call you, your phone will not ring, it will go directly to voicemail. The easiest way to turn that off is just by simply pressing the do not disturb button, which is normally located on one of these soft buttons. We have reached the last line on our sheet, which is volume. Volume is located right here. Here's the down arrow and here's the up arrow. This volume is what we consider to be situational, which means whatever situation you are in or whatever your phone is currently doing, that is what the volume will change, increase or decrease. So if the phone is ringing and you want it to ring louder, you're gonna press the up arrow while it's ringing. If you're on the phone and you can't hear your client speaking, Again, you're gonna press the same up arrow. So it's going to change depending on what you're doing. This concludes our video on the basic operation of the Yealink T46S. 
Again, we want to thank you for watching the video and taking the time. If your model is not the exact same as the T46S for Yealink, the buttons pretty much all still work the same. So if you have any issues or if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at comtechnc.com and have a great day.